Okay, so my Sedition Wars Kickstarter finally turned up. This is the first shipping of it. So this is the base game and uh, any added extras that can be covered by the base game. So this is the, this is the original box. Um, nice picture on the front. Fairly hefty. Imagine there's a lot of minis in it. Um, back of the box, you've got nice description of all the minis, which is going to be handy. Um, all the strain. Then you've got contents. Bit of, bit of a description, nice image at the top, pretty good. Then we've got the signed lithograph, Mike McVeigh signature, always handy. Um, it's basically a print of the front, um, front image of the box, quite nice. Actually carries on a bit further, you've got the uh, top of the head and all that kind of thing. So very, very nice. I also stumped for the extra tile packs, which come wrapped like this. Looks like you've actually got counters on this side, so I'm guessing they just wrapped the whole thing up. It's got a uh, band round it saying extra tile pack. And I also got the Biohazard Part 1, which consists of a pizza box, essentially. You get a bag with five separate bags of miniatures. Um, and bases and things like that. Um, you, I, I stumped for the extra dice, so most people only have a pair of pair of these bags. I've ended up with two pairs of them, so I'm going to have a ridiculous quantity of dice. We've got the patch, the Vanguard patch, which is quite nice. Seems to be iron on. It's got a uh, coating on the back of it, so it might be iron on. And we get a uh, set of cards that appear to be stat cards for various creatures in the game. And also the uh, sort of the characters, the humans involved, and you've got sort of all the all the weapons they've got. You've got your stats down the side. You've got a uh, wound track down the bottom, so you're probably going to want to sleeve these cards in some fashion. And then on the back, you've got um, tables with abilities and traits that each character's got. So and some quite nice art of the actual miniatures as well. So quite nice there. So that's the extra biohazard. So have a quick look at one of the miniatures. So I'll see if I can get a close-up of this. So there we go. So we've got one of the miniatures. It's quite nice. And uh, this is one of the, probably one of the type one or type two strain. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, appears to be quite nice. You can still tell he's human. Um, he appears to be gripping. He's not actually gripping anything, that's a tentacle coming out of his arm. Um, and his left arm's completely mutated, as well as his face and most of the rest of his body. You can still see bits of armour under there and things. Very, very nice. Um, the piping's got some nice uh, beading on it. Um, it's going to need a bit of clean-up. You can see we've got a massive, great big wadge of plastic in there to clean up. Um, nothing too major. I'm looking around for... Um, sort of mould lines and things like that, and I can't really see any. Um, seems to be quite nice. There's one down the leg, a little bit, just in there. Don't know if, you got, don't know if the camera's going to be picking that up. It is a bit yet. So, yeah, I've seen worse. So that's the, uh, that's the um, Biohazard, part one. Um, part two, I believe, is shipping in March, so expecting it probably around April. Um, quite nice. So, here we go to the main game. Still in plastic, so this is going to be a first for me. Tight box. So we've got sheets of counters, two sheets of counters. Seems to be identical, no big deal. The nice thing is they seem to be printed fairly well. well they're not completely identical, they are different. Um, I've seen a lot of people on the forums have had issues with the counter printing not being centred, um, but these seem to be fairly good. Um, so that's two sheets of counters. We've got the rule book. So, nice thick rule book, like it. There's a lot in here. 
Have fun reading that later on. Got missions, bit of a story at the back. Um, yeah, looks really good, well printed. Should be easy to read. Got the, uh, some nice pictures of models as you go through. Plenty of uh, artwork for descriptions of how to, how to play and how movement and things. And some very nice pictures. Very, very nice pictures later on. Excellent. That's the rule book. Then we've got the tiles themselves. These are double sided, which is why I went for the tile pack. So I've got full choice of everything. And you can see you've got various routes round. There's, there's quite a variation in the tile packs. You don't really seem to have any sort of generic square rooms as such. It's all very nice. And you've got various ways on to and off each tile so you can join them up in different ways. That's quite nice. There is a bit of uh, crunching on the side. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this zoomed in and give it a go. But let's see, there we go. Yeah, so we've got a bit of a um, bit of crunching on the side there. Nothing major, nothing I can't repair to be honest. Um, I've certainly seen worse in board games. Might be worth going over these with something just to uh, neaten them up a little bit. But all in all, not as, not as bad as the uh, forums were leading me to expect. So what else have we got? We have a huge bag of miniatures. What have we got in here? I'm guessing, yep, we've got the bases again, miniatures, these should be the same bags as are in the Biohazard Part 1, and yep, they certainly seem to be pretty similar. Yep, I'll go through those in a bit more detail. We've got some green counters, not sure what those are. Ah, these are the ones that go under the bases. That's quite nice, red and blue counters. Whatever they are for. I'm sure, I'll find out when I read the rule book. So, what are these green counters? Let's have a look. Okay, they appear to be pretty much the same design. It's certainly strain related. They are quite, they seem to be quite nice. Nothing tremendously special about them, in all honesty, but. They've got the uh, strain logo on one side, and they appear to have a sort of ridge on one side. They're embossed on this side. This side is perfectly smooth, apart from the uh, punch-out mark in the centre, so I'm guessing they're meant to be played embossed side up. But yeah, pretty nice. And there's certainly plenty of those. We've got the uh, bases. These go onto. I'll just open one of these up. So these actually fit under these bases like that, so that you can indicate from um, sort of various statuses for the models as you're playing. So you can actually sort of mount them underneath the base as you're playing, which is quite nice. You don't have to have sort of markers dangling off the base and all that kind of thing, so very nicely done. And as you put them on, there's more, there's room for more to be stacked because they've added holes to the bottom of them so you can stack them up multiply. Although I'd imagine if you get too many of these on you, you're in big trouble. So they look quite nice and they work quite well, which is always handy. We've got dice. A little surprised that they're not the special dice that are in the biohazard pack, but nevertheless, it's a bit of bag of dice. Nice dice, you know, fairly generic, dotted, nothing hugely special about them, and a set of cards, which I'm guessing are going to pretty much be the same cards as were in the previous pack. Looks like they've got some of the special characters. You've got Kara Black on the front there, which is quite nice. They all have a cost. So that would indicate that there's some method of sort of buying your troops in a um, in a game. So 
yeah, that's pretty much about it. Nice.